Hello, this is the second of six Node Commander Quick Start video guides. This video will cover the, some basic node configurations. Under base station COM17, you can see that we have node 426, which is an SGLink OEM. If we right click on this node and go to configure, we can enter the node configuration screen directly, read write to EEPROM. Under calibration coefficients, you can directly enter the calibration coefficients to the node or run the strain wizard. And here you can select what frequency you want the node to run on. We're going to go to the node configuration screen. Here you can enable and configure your channels. Streaming, synchronized sampling, legacy low duty cycle, and data logging are modes of operation and will be covered in later videos. Power management and RF are more of an advanced configuration and will not be covered in this video. And information is the basic information of the node. Let's go back to channels. Here we can select what channels we want enabled. Channel 1 is a differential channel generally used to hook up strain gauges and load cells and such. Channel 3 is the onboard temperature of the SG-Link OEM. And channel 4 is the SG-Link's OEM analog inputs. We're going to be working with channel 1 which is the differential channel. Here you come over here and configure. You decide what hardware gain you'd like to use. We'll use 320. What scale you'd like to balance the node in and then we select auto balance. Here you can see that it balanced to 2041 which is mid-scale and what offset it used to get there. So let's select OK. In this demonstration we are going to go and use strain and we're going to utilize the strain wizard of node commander. Here you select what bridge type you're going to be utilizing and then you can also view what a diagram of that to learn how to connect it to the SGLink OEM. You can also select half bridge and quarter bridge, but we're going to, we have a full bridge in this case. So let's select next. We're going to use the strain measurement wizard and hit next. I have one active gauge upon this, so we're going to select one, gauge factor of two. The gauge resistance is 1,000, and you can enter a shunt resistance of, four, of 499,000 ohms. You want to select calibrate then calibrate again. Node Commander will then go through and run a subroutine which will calculate what the calibration coefficients should be. In this case a slope of 3.04878 microstrain per bit and an offset of 6204.27. You want to hit finish then select OK. And then select OK again. Then to check it we can right click on the node sample and use stream and start. Then it's right around zero where we would expect it to be. This concludes the basic configuration of the SG-Link OEM. If you have any other questions, please contact us at MicroStrain Support and please watch the other videos to learn more about Node Commander. Thank you.